you can use that in the store like this. You can get a lot of store out, a lot of soap and a lot of mm -hmm. hard things. You got a scrub. You know, this is what they need to be doing. They need to be scrubbing as I'm doing. They come in here and 10 minutes been gone. And this is what they need behind for us to do. Which I don't mind doing it. And I'm not getting paid a dime. I'm getting, I'm getting, what I'm getting from is just to, just doing and doing it. I'm part of something that's positive. Something that's positive and something that shows that even though they're homeless, we're really just houses. We're houses, people with etiquette. And it's good to document it and know what we're doing. And uh, we care about people's cars just as much as they say they do. But the proof is in the pudding. I haven't seen them do this ever. The only time it's ever been done by us. Look at this catastrophe. And so since we're the ones who's doing it, this ought to be our part. I mean, you know, it's our part is the people, the people's part, not one of the people. Um, of course, this time of year, this could be a little hazardous, of course, because, you know, we got pretty strong people. Yeah, I'm, hi, my name is Michael hey. Smith. And uh, I'm really thankful to be a part of the People's Park. But I want to call it a collective of new People's Park uh, advocates uh, trying to save this park. And one of the main things that we do here is make sure that we keep it as beautiful as possible in this park. Uh, cleanliness is important. Of course, this is the bathroom area. Um, where years ago, as you see, they uh, did a lot of writing here about what this park is all about. Um, really, the people are more concerned, I think, than anyone that this place is healthy, fun for kids, and, and knowing that it's very historical um, with the amount of different type of entertainers successful entertainers and so forth, and leaders that come here. Uh, it's becoming a national monument almost now. So we trust to keep it as beautiful as it should be in any park. Cleanly, restrooms for children, women, and men. And um, I take pride in it myself, just being one of the people who've been blessed to come here and be on this one of the great stages of uh, entertainment here. Um, there's nothing like People's Park. And our main goal is to make it safe, clean, and fun. My name is Jenny Taylor. I'm originally from San Francisco. I'm from Santa Monica, California. And I I'm here in Berkeley trying to clean these bathrooms. They completely stop doing anything for the community as far as the bathroom, so I, I step up to the plate because people are coming from outside and it's disgusting up in here. It looks like animals living here. We try to keep clean as possible. We wish people would come and contribute uh, bleaches and stuff like that so we can keep the bathrooms clean. Um, we wish people wouldn't post up on the floor tampons and glass and stuff like that, it happens. We cannot stop these things from happening because they're going to do it anyway. We got mental people in this park. They talking about tearing down this park and I don't think that they should. They desecrate the land if they do. It will not be Berkeley anymore. Please stop them from tearing down people's park because it's, it's, a, it's a place for family to keep we treat people like people. We try to keep all riffraff out as much as possible. People that don't, that steals and stuff like that, we don't agree with this. We try not to let that happen in this park because we don't agree with it. I don't agree with it. 
and we would love for kids to be here and to have family and, and understanding and peace and love and happiness is what it's all about. We should try to get along with each other more because the unity of this has not it is has been lost somewhere down the line. Our people have turned to drugs and stuff like that, including me. I'm not better than the next person. But I must say, we've got to stop putting down each other and labelizing each other for the things that we do. If we not have walked from out in somebody's shoes, please do not judge them because you don't know what they've been through in their lifetime. I've been on my own since I've been 15. My mother and father passed young. I had to be independent since the day I signed that paper. And people told me, they said, you are responsible for yourself and anything you do from now on, and I took that to heart. Thank God my daddy gave us afterwards because that kept me out of jail, prison, and other bullshit. Now, what you do in life is all up to you, not me. You got to do things for yourself because don't let nobody decide to do. Make up your own mind to do things. Don't let nobody tell you to cut your hair if you don't want to. Don't let nobody tell you what colors you should wear because we shall all be able to wear whatever we want as long as you ain't bug naked in the street. That's, you know, way past being under the, by the law. But as I was saying, these people here, are the most considerate spiritual people I have seen. I have been more spiritually enlightened in, in people's hearts than I ever have been because not only the people, because of Michael too, he has shown me that you put God first and then everything else should come there for whatever you need. And it has been so since I've been here. And I never thought that, I knew there was always a God. Never, just, I just had to stop talking to him. Don't stop talking to him because he is here. He's in the air you breathe, the, the water you drink, and the trees and the birds. He's in everything. He's inside of you if you let him be. Please look at people. Leave that alone, please. Leave that alone. Please look at people. Please look at people as they don't judge them as they are. Look inside their heart because that's where the answer is. And the answer is within you. There's nothing else more better than finding yourself. Love yourself more. Love yourself first. And then other things will come about. Or as another mate or other people. Things, cheer things. They only hear why you're here. Don't treasure those things. Treasure the people around you. Love them like you love yourself. Treat people like you want to be treated. God told me with your wise words. Please say part. It means a lot. It has environment. It has natural life. It also has a spirit. It has a spirit in its part that's so thick. You can cut it with a knife only if you believe in it. There's a lot of people that don't know the spirit that's in this part. It's, it's trying to talk to me, tell me a lot of things. And believe it or not, it's not just spiritual. It's coming from love. And I'm telling you, it's here in this part. Do not let them tear down this part, please. It means a lot to the world. It means a lot to God. It means a lot to the people around us, even to the kids. They closing us in. Can't you see that? We won't be having no air to breathe. There's nothing else better than natural environment. As if we got here in this part. Please say people's part. This is Janet Taylor. Thank you.